This video is going to show you um, my preferred method for organizing our sources. As you start doing your research, uh, it's very important for you to make sure you know how to get back to it because that's the most uh, frustrating part is when you know you read something and you can't figure out where you read it. So I'm going to show you um, some basic things that I recommend doing to help you be organized. First thing I want you to do is open up a blank document. It doesn't matter if it's Word or Google Docs. Google Docs might actually be very helpful, but label it sources. You want to probably save it for this research topic, but um, and I know I haven't shown you any MLA formatting, but I'll show you that eventually. Um, but anyway, have this open. It doesn't really matter. You, you're using this. As you start doing your research, and we've already got some sources open from our previous uh, video. Let's get back to the cheerleading thing, right? All right, so let's say we're in academic search and we've found some things that seem interesting to us. Uh, this one right here. That's oh, right, it takes us to Lex. I'm sorry, Lex is in. Uh, Cheerleading becomes a varsity sport. This is one that we're interested. You, of course, want to save the PDF text. And when you do that, you download it, and you want to name it, because it will default as a number, but you want to name it so you can have that. But in addition, there's information that you can use. The first thing I'm going to recommend is going over here. Our tools are very helpful. You can save it to Google Drive, which is wonderful. You can email it to yourself. But this tool right here, is a lifesaver. Uh, it's going to save you hours of time and frustration. Click on this site. It's going to have a whole variety of wonderful ways to cite it, and it's mostly correct. So you're going to highlight this right here. You're going to copy it using Control C. You're going to come over to Word, and you're going to put that right there. Now it does like to do um, some sort of little thing. So if you go to paste special and you can do unformatted text. I don't know why it's getting these boxes there. Sometimes it does it, but you can figure that out later. Uh, maybe just how I highlighted it. But you copied that. Then you can go back to your topic. I recommend you copying the abstract. It'll let me. So, all right, put that next. Followed by right here, the permalink. You want this permalink. I'll tell you why in just a moment. Now this permalink should be the same that appears in the works cited entry. That's because when you need to get back to it, it's there. If you were to copy the URL up here, do that and I'll show you the difference. This will not take you back. All this right here is just gibberish. It doesn't mean anything. It's session ID, all this sort of stuff. It's a temporary URL that you have clicked on. If you are going to save this, you will never find your source again. So do not copy the URL, the link from the search bar instead the permalink that appears in both the citation and here. I like it on both. You do need to be logged in for these links to work, which is kind of a problem too. But it's at least going to help you out. And many students just save this and they hope that's going to get them back. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's not foolproof. So having this information, you can always find it again. I recommend doing the abstract because you have a very brief summary so you can start to remember. After that, you go to your next source. So let's say uh, we're interested in this. Now, Lexus Nexus is a little bit different. Um, you can copy the title. You will want to download this and you can do that by clicking on the download button, you can save it to Google Drive as well. Um, you can highlight the whole thing and copy it into a Word document. But it's not going to have a summary or anything, so the title is important. 
and you can export the citation. Click on MLA. Once again, portal so put that right there. And we have the really, really long title, which is in, in the correct formatting. You'll notice, of course, that this is accessed. This one doesn't. I prefer you to be consistent in your works cited page. So you'll want to add that access stuff to there. But this has all the important information. We don't have a link, but we have a link here. So you'll be okay with that. Uh, so Lexus Nexus is not the most user friendly. So it's kind of hard sometimes to figure out. Oh, there's a link to this page. You can copy this now, just in case. It didn't do it. Let's see if that works. There we are. So now we have that, and we're ready to move on to the next one now. Sears Researcher works similar way. Uh, we get a summary. And we got to look for the citation. So over here it says cite MLA8 is what you want. You can copy this wonderful thing and then you go into your next one. We have it. And you want to copy this summary. Once it goes. All right, so now we have a summary. And then you can email this to yourself as well. Is there a link that we can copy? I don't see. Doesn't look like you can send this to yourself as a link, but you have it. You can save it to your Google Drive. You can email it to yourself. Go through, find your sources, start copying them. Always get the MLA works cited entry. That's going to help you greatly get a abstract or a summary and the link and you can start to organize this a little bit better as you go along but having this information is going to be crucial because you have your summary to help you remember what it's about um, so I recommend doing this as you research you can start deleting things um, whatever you need to do as you go along to organize but at least you have something to jog your memory and the proper citations for these sorts of things, you want to save, print them, download them so you can refer to them and mark them up, find information that you want to cite. But right now, this is just grabbing things, holding on to them, knowing where they are. So I definitely recommend uh, saving things as you go along. Again, this is academic search. You can download the PDF. And I don't know why it's not letting me download it, but download it. Um, I don't want to waste too much time, but you can save it, download it, and then make sure you keep a record, keep everything on a good file. Organization is very important. Um, once you start reading through, you can take your notes and figure out your timeline for your paper. But this is the first trick, first step. Uh, do this. Do not just copy this. I'll say it again because no one ever listens to me. <laughs> uh, do not just copy the URL because you will not be able to get back to it. Know the title, know the author, and that's going to get you to anything you need from our three databases. So I hope that's helpful. It's not too uh, redundant, but hopefully it's helpful. Thank you.